that I'm really, really excited to do, that I've wanted to do for a really long time, and I've finally just worked up the nerve to finally do it. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be doing my very first bookshelf tour. I have a fairly large bookshelf. It's really big. Me and my dad built this bookshelf from scratch. We got everything from Home Depot. We sanded down the wood, we primed it, we painted it. We spray painted these things, these, like, I forget, supports, I guess. I personally am in love with the way it came out. I think it's so unique and it's so me and it, it fits all my books. I actually need to add on another shelf because I'm completely out of room. So I just reorganized my bookshelf maybe a month or two ago. This is what it used to look like and this obviously is how it looks now and I am in love with it so I can't wait to share it on the internet. So really quick, as far as organization goes, every bookshelf I've ever had, the top shelf has been just the classics shelf. Don't really know why, it's just what always happened. However, since I reorganized it, I cannot fit my books that way, so there are a bunch of different kinds of books on the top shelf now, which feels kind of weird because it's always been my classic shelf, but I like it. Other than that, there's really no big organization tactics, I guess. The middle shelf, however, is mostly my favorite really fictional books so no contemporaries nothing that can happen in real life I guess and it all you can't really see it this is Queen of Shadows in the very middle and for god a long time since like Crown of Midnight I believe the newest Throne of Glass book has always been in the very middle of my shelf and then my favorites kind of go off in each direction and whatever I can't explain it, but I really like it. That's basically it for organizing everything else. I can kind of show you in little sections. I'm going to start with the bottom shelf just because I still have no idea how I'm going to film the top shelf. It's very high up. I'm standing on my couch right now just to be able to fit the bottom shelf in screen. So this is going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so now I have my sister behind the camera to help me film this. So I have no idea how this is going to go. I guess we'll just see. Alright, so we're going to start with my Cassandra Clare little section. It's just not all of her books, but it's all the books I have by her. You know what I mean? Never mind, I forgot I had this on the end. <laughs> Ruthless by Carolyn Lee Adams. Nope, don't move the camera closer to the book. That's unnecessary. Now we're gonna get into my little Cassandra Clare bubble. The Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones, Little Barnes Noble Box, I, I don't know. Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. The Barnes Noble Exclusive Collector's Edition of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. The Iron Trial and the Comper Gauntlet by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. Mortal City of Bones official illustrated movie companion. And this is right above that little bubble just because it can't fit. Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. And then also right next to that is usually the Bane Chronicles. But I'm blending that out. Moving out of the Cassandra Clare bubble, we have The Martian by Andy Weir. The Alchemist by Paolo Calejo. I'm sorry I butchered that. Red Rising and Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. Darkly Dreaming Dexter and Dearly Devoted Dexter by Jeff Lindsay. The Duff by Cody Couplinger. The Screaming Staircase by Jonathan Stroud. Lone Survivor by Marcus Lutterell with Patrick Robinson. The Warrior Heir and the Wizard Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. Legacy of Kings by Eleanor Herman. The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Cruel Beauty by Rose Minaj. Lewis Lane Fallout by Gwenda Bond. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Anna and the Swallow Man by Gabrielle Savit. Divergent by Veronica Roth. Inside Divergent, the Initiates World. Initiates World? I can never say that word. And then Four by Veronica Roth with this little whatever it is inside. I'm realizing now I probably should have gone left to right because that's how all my series are organized so next I have the testing independent study and graduation day by Joelle Charabaneu Stephen King on writing a memoir of the craft Rogue by Julie Kagawa I did have Talon I read Talon I have no idea where Talon went The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry 
The Winter Sea by Suzanne Kearsley, Uprooted by Naomi Novik. Now I'm gonna talk about my Harry Potter collection in reverse order because that's how it is. I'm like I'm just I'm going the wrong way in my shelf, okay? The Hogwarts Library, which you know has the three little books. Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, and the Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire, the Order of the Phoenix, the Half-Blood Prince, and finally, the Deathly Hallows. Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Oh, we're getting into my little contemporary bubble, I guess. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Wenger. First and Then by Emma Mills. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neven. Niven? The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Bone. Look who's hiding. Abby. Abby. <laughs> Precious Memory Card Space. <laughs> Stolen by Lucy Christopher. It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. See if I can do it without looking at the book. Our Stones and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Salies. Aunt... Uh, Elia Arsenias. There we go. Half Bad and Half Wild by Sally Green. The Murder Complex and the Death Code by Lindsay Cummings. The Uglies Box Set by Scott Westerfeld, which includes Uglies, Pretties, Specials, and Extras. The Button Man by Mark Pryor. My 2015 Book on Lanyard. <laughs> Silent Echo by Eliza Frelich. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. I'm sorry the lighting's so bad, by the way, but I'm in front of my window, so what can you do? Will Grayson Will Grayson by John Green and David Levithan. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Panic by Lauren Oliver. The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black. An Ember in the Ashes by Sabah Tahir. Snow Like Ashes and Ice Like Fire by Sarah Rush. The Young Elites and The Rose Society by Marie Lou. <laughs> Legend, Prodigy, and Champion also by Marie Lou. The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. Percy Jackson and the Olympians mural covers series. Fun fact. My dog Finnick was going to be named Percy. My Percy Jackson box set box that I keep all my bookmarks in. And then all the way in the corner. Fallen by Lauren Kate and Black Widow Forever Red by Margaret Stoll. Now we're going to move on to the second shelf. My favorite shelf. Finally. Yay! So the second shelf, this is more my sci-fi-y little section. Except for this, all the way in the end. And that is Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Gone, Hunger, and Fear by Michael Grant. The Knife of Never Letting Go, The Ask and the Answer, and Monsters of Men by Patrick Ness. This one got left out in the rain. Lux Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrop. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Notice the absence of a sequel for that. Funny, isn't it? Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Devil Rising by Karen Bow. Right here I have Fairest, Stars Above, Scarlet Crescent Winter, uh, my dog ate Cinder, and I don't feel like getting them all out because there are a lot of books, but they're all here. <laughs> These Broken Stars, This Shattered World, and This Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Now we're moving more into the fantasy, and slowly but surely we're going to get to my favorite books, which is the Throne of Glass series, and then it kind of goes the same on the other end. So the closer to the middle the books are, the more... I love them. I know I what guess. your favorite book is. What's my favorite book? The Nightmare Before Christmas. No. <laughs> Red Queen and Glass Sword by Victoria Aviar. Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Again, I don't feel like taking these out, but it's The Darkest Minds, Through the Dark, Never Fade, and In the Afterlight, also by Alexandra Bracken. Also a very, very good dystopian, one of my favorites. Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me by Tehira Mafi. Miss Perigen's Home for Peculiar Children, the graphic novel. Miss Perigen's Home for Peculiar Children. Hollow City and Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs and a Library of Souls chapter excerpt whatever. A Gathering of Shadows and a Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. Evolution of Mara Dyer. And the Retribution of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. My very favorite, the Throne of Glass series. Throne of Glass. Crowd of Midnight. The Assassin's Blade. I don't know why I put them in that sequence. Air of Fire and Queen of Shadows. And then we have A Court of Thrones and Roses and A Court of Mist and Fury. All by Sarah J. Mass. Daughter Smoke and Bone. Days of Blood and Starlight. Dreams of Gods and Monsters. All by Lainey Taylor. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. City of Thieves by David Benioff. Shadow and Bone. Sage and Storm. Ruin and Rising. And Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. The Bone Season. And The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. The Nightmare Before Christmas written and illustrated by the one and only Tim Burton. The Walled City by Ryan... Grodden. This is like no order on this part of the show. The Roth and the Dawn by Renee Adie. Carry On. Fangirl. And Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Row. This was also 
Left in the Rain, Find an Audrey by Sophie Kinsella, Unwind by Neil Shusterman, The Maze Runner by James Dashner, Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, Tell the Wolves I'm Home by Kara Oberf Cabrunt, Flates and Chimes and Mysterious Times by Emma Trav... Trevenet, The Year the Swallows Came Home by Catherine Fitzmaurice, A Little Captain Jack Sparrow doll, the Weight of Feathers by Anna Marie McLemore. The Light, The One, and The Air by Kiara Cass. My dog also ate the selection. Abby, no. 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 Yes. My dog ate the selection when he ate Cinder. Alright. Let's go to the top shelf. Alright, we're on the top shelf. Finally. Both of us are very tired, so I don't know how the quality of the rest of this video is going to be. This is my Hunger Games shrine. I mentioned it in a few videos. I'm probably going to do an entire video just dedicated to this because there's a lot here. Next, I have my two Harry Potter coloring books because they don't fit on the bottom shelf with Harry Potter. And that's the Harry Potter coloring book and the Harry Potter Magical Places and Creatures coloring book. Next, I have my Sherlock Holmes collection. I currently have 12 books. Again, I'll probably do a whole video on this because I just... It's all Sherlock Holmes. I'll go through them another time. Next, I have The Hobbit. I don't know what order these are in. The Lord of the Rings. The Fellowship of the Ring, Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I've never read this. I've never watched the movies. I don't know what the order they're supposed to be in. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. It says part one, part two, part three on the books. The exclusive collector's edition of The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. My baby. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. My True Love Gave to Me by a plethora of authors. And then Ghost of the Watchmen also by Harper Lee. And the reason the sequel is not with the first book is... Just because of how it all fits on my shelf, it doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. This is my little paperback classics thing. So, Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. The Westing Game by Ellen Raskin. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. 1984 by George Orwell. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. And Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. A Game of Thrones and A Storm of Swords by George R. George R. R. Martin, The Name of the Star and the Shadow Cabinet by Maureen Johnson, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Vengeance Road by Aaron Bauman, Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doerr, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna, Seven Novels by Jane Austen. It's very, it's very pretty. <laughs> Are you okay? Ah! That was so scary! <laughs> the Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe, also very pretty. Edgar Allan Poe, Complete Tales and Poems. Tales of the North by Jack London. 112263 by Stephen King. So I'm really sorry, but I can't pick up these books because there's just no way I can reach them. My couch isn't that long. So I'm just going to kind of point to them and tell you. I hope that's okay. I really just... We gotta work with what we have. Right here, I have my jar of books, which is every book I've read in 2016. This is my third year doing this. Then I have the Statistical Probability of a Love at First Sight, and this is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. If I Stay by Gail Foreman. Orphan Train by Christina Baker Klein. The Sky is Everywhere and I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. The Amazing Book is Not on Fire by Dan and Phil. I Hate My Selfie by Shane Dawson. I Looked Up by Someone Wallach. The Girl on the Train by Paul Hawkins. And My Lovely Bones by L.C. Bold. We're done! We finished! We got through it all! Thank you for watching my bookshelf tour. I'll make a much better one in the future. Thank you, Abby, for filming. I'm so tired. Good night.